Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Life with Lisa. I should be cooking with Lisa. But um, I'm going to post a video. A video I made, I believe, back in December. It's a chicken Mexican uh, casserole. It's very easy. It's a lot of shortcuts. It's instant rice. It's rotisserie chicken. A little enchilada sauce. A little jarred salsa. Sour cream cheddar cheese. We'll mix it together. Stick it in your oven. Call it dinner. All right. Oh, and I also have... um. I'll post in that on the bottom uh, link in there um, a recipe to my lasagna and my chopped meat gravy, which is your tomato sauce with chopped meat in it. I was making that day as well. If you want those recipes, they will be linked on the bottom. Okay, yeah, guys, have a good day. Stay healthy. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm just, it's life with Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am boiling the water, it's salted water for rice. I'm making instant rice success instant rice um, because I'm going to be making a chicken like a Mexican chicken casserole with shortcuts and because I'm going to be making a homemade lasagna I have to make the gravy get the chop because I'm making a chopped meat gravy which tastes like one big out like one big giant meatball and then I'm going to put sausage in there too for my father my, my daughter-in-law broke her leg so I'm going to be cooking them cooking for them for a little bit so um, hence is why half the lasagna is getting no Sausage. Okay, bye. Hi, good morning, guys. This is Le uh, Life with Lisa. Um, I'm cooking two meals today. If I can, if I can figure out how to post the link for my lasagna, I'll do that. Um, my daughter-in-law broke her leg, so I'm helping cook some meals for a little bit for them, for my son and his wife. Um, and I just. Put in here. I have some regard in here with a little lacatelli cheese. I don't have to clean the bowl with some water. Just wipe it out like that. That's good enough. Because um, I didn't really mix. I just dumped it in here. Though you know what? That bowl's too big. I can use it for what I'm gonna do with the chicken. So here we go. I'm making like a Mexican um, chicken casserole, and I'm using um, everything shortcuts. I'm using store bought rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna break that off the bone. Stick it in here. I'm going to use, put corn in here, salts in here. I'm going to use a little um, enchilada sauce, red with a little bit of green. I'm going to use a little bit of um, uh, green chilies. I hope you can read that. And I'm sorry, guys, I can't put a light on here. I'm using my cell phone to record right now, and it's on selfie mode. So, obviously, you can't put light on when it's on selfie. And if I reverse it, um, then I can't see my functions. So, anyway... I'm trying to still wait for my husband to see if he can, can think of something, some kind of light source to put over here so you all can see better. Okay. So what's going to go in here? I'm going to break up some chicken. So let me get chicken. I have two rotisserie chickens. Oh, I boiled. These are hot. Um, four bags of instant rice. This is success family size instant rice. Um, for eight minutes. I could have done a little bit less because it's going to cook in the oven. Um, so, got four bags of these. And I boil them in salted water. You always have to salt your water if you're making uh, macaroni, if you're doing rice, if you're making grits. Especially even when you're making mashed potatoes. You have to salt that water. Because um, if you don't and you wait to the end to salt it, it just really stays on top. It doesn't get inside the food. Um, and you just can never get that salty bite you're looking for. So, with that being said, right now, again, I'm making lasagna. The, I'm waiting for the water to boil so I can put my uh, lasagna noodles in there. So, let me go back to this. Um, but in case you don't watch my other video, you'd never oil the water or even when the macaroni or your, you may say pasta. When it's cooked, you never put a slick of oil on I don't care what Rachel Ray does. You never put oil on because in the gravy or you may call it tomato sauce, it just slips right off. Um... But the only time I put oil in my macaroni or pasta water is when I'm making lasagna. Why? Because you don't want those lasagna noodles to stick together. So that's the only reason why I do. All right. So let's not talk about lasagna. Let's go back to doing chicken. So all I'm going to do, I'll start this with you and show you. And then when I add the other ingredients, I'll come back. So let me just get, again, store-bought rotisserie chicken. Can't beat that, guys. It's a time saver, time saver. And I'm also, also making a berry cobbler. 
with the sugar cookie crumb topping for dessert. Uh, that's casting a blue light. Look. I don't know if I like, the, especially, hold on, um, in the pan. Let me put some food in here, then we could do it. Shut that off, it's blinding me. Okay, that's right. All right, so I'm just going to break this chicken apart. Make sure there's no bones. Please make sure there's no bones. And even if you think there's no bones, sometimes there's always a splinter of bone. Um, I don't mind a little skin, from, um, but I'm going to leave the skin off. So, okay, just like this, bite-sized pieces. You don't want to shred it too small because you don't want it to get lost. Oh, I fell on the floor. My dog will eat that. It's a piece of chicken. So this is it. So I'm going to, um, there'll be leftovers. So I'm going to break up this chicken. I have two chickens to break up. I'm going to use all of the meat and then I will be back guys. All right. Enjoy your day. All right. Bye. Hi guys. I'm back. I have the chicken broken apart and here is the light. So I am using my husband's cell phone real quick. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like with the, with the light and then without and I'll be back with that um so here's my husband's cell phone it's on the table okay so let me drain my corn I broke two chickens apart so let's drain the corn and guys you can use as much corn as little as corn as you want um you know what guys i'll be right back sorry hey guys we're back to the mexican i'm like i said i'm just doing two meals at once i'm bouncing around lasagna to this so here we go i'll put the light on um and here we go and again you can add whatever seasonings you want to this this is kind of a made up dish my daughter and i did kind of has a little bit of a mexican flavor you can add whatever seasonings you want like I said, I used, I did a short cup. We did um, store apart rotisserie chicken. You add as much rice as you want. You can use brown rice, jasmine rice. I don't care. This is just um, uh, sasa sucks uh, instant rice. Eight minutes and we were done. Voila. You could actually use, why couldn't you? You could actually, if you really wanted to, guys, use farro. You could use uh, quinoa. You could, you know, eat a, a little healthier if you wanted to, but um, this is what I'm going to do. So right now that's two family sized bags of rice. I just want to see, um, you can make adjustments. Like I said, rice is always a good filler. So, okay, let me do this. So I'm going to add one jar of mild, everything is mild, chunky salsa. There's your onions and your peppers. Another shortcut, right? Won't do that again, guys. Sorry about that noise. Um, I love corn in mine. I drain the corn. You could use as much corn or no corn. You could put beans in this. Um, black beans would be delicious in this, right? I don't like beans, hence why well, there's no beans. One small can of green um, chili enchilada sauce. This is a little spicier. I, I have extra um, enchilada sauce in the back if I wanted it. Red enchilada sauce. This will take all that liquid, but I'm going to reserve about a quarter of a can, uh, can. So we have all that rice. I'm going to add, again, this is one small can of diced chilies. I have more if we want it, but not everybody likes... Um, you know the flavor so, okay and i lied i did it again i apologize and i got sour cream we're gonna add and i'm gonna add anywhere from two to four cups sharp cheddar cheese and let me give this a stir and this is gonna bake in the oven and guys you could use this kind of a mixture to do um enchiladas you know with the soft tortillas and do yourself uh enchilada okay I'm not going to add any more salt and pepper to this. 
because this has a lot of salty ingredients. I will taste it though before I say never and make sure it's seasoned correctly. Okay. See how it, the rice just ate up that um, enchilada sauce? Okay. So let's add, and it's going to melt in the oven the cheese. So you probably cook it um, 350, even 375, anywhere 30 to 45 minutes. So you use as much as, I like to use a lot of this because for me it cuts down on some of the heat that's in there. Even though everything's mild, it still has some heat. So I will use one container and this size container is one pound, two cups. Okay. I'm not even checking the camera so I hope you guys can see everything when I hold up stuff like that. Oh wow. I am horrible. I apologize. Okay. We'll get the hang of it guys. Stir this. Okay, can you please get me a red uh, spoon from the dishwasher so I can try this? In the dishwasher, I wash them. Thank you. Let's just try one bite. Big bite. Mmm. Good. I don't think we need to add anything. I think it is good just the way it is. And if I wanted to try it again, I would definitely get a new spoon, but I'm not. We just have to add cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add cheese in here, cook it, and then maybe the last 15, 20 minutes, I'll add more cheese to the top because I don't want my cheese to burn. And it, and it normally doesn't burn when I do it. So I think I'm just going to throw it in now because it does not burn. So it's not like I'm cooking it for an hour. A half hour, 45 minutes, my cheese will not burn. So I'm good. And again, if you thought that was too much sour cream... Please don't add that much sour cream. Add as much as or little as you want or don't add it at all. All right. We'll be back. I just wanted to show you I added the cheese. I added the whole package, which is a two-cup package, to the inside. And then I'll add probably about another cup to the top. Again, use whatever cheese you want. This is sharp cheddar. You can use mild cheddar. You can use Monterey Jack. You can use pepper jack. You don't... You don't have to, you know, do this every, every, everything I do. Make it your own. But you should try it, the cheddar cheese, if you like cheddar cheese, because it is delicious. You could do a mixture of cheese, guys. For sure. All right. We'll be back. And there's no light on. I'll show you one more time. There. Bye. Hey guys, we're back. Okay, I put the light on for you. I added the cheese. Um, my First of all, my husband tasted the filling. He said add a little bit more salsa. So I used that almost. I have a jar more of mild salsa. I opened up another can of the um, diced chili pepper. Um, the chilies. Put that in there. Um, probably about half the can. And then I finished the can of the red enchilada sauce. Put that in there. Added a pinch more rice. Added... Um, a little bit more cheese and then I put about again no more than a cup of cheese on top so it was about three and a th three three and a half cups of sharp shredded cheese again you do you can see how big this casserole is you can say it's a big one um, you do you want with the cheese you use the flavored cheese you want and as much or as little cheese as you want all right and I'm going to clean up the edges so it doesn't burn in the oven all right, guys, so this is done. Now I'm going to work on the lasagna next. Bye.